you guys there again with a quick quick video um recently i went down and bought a whole new lot of shirts mate because the shirts i had just didn't fit so now i'm up in a thick boy 2xl all right now shopping from location to location i'm sure there'll be a lot of women maybe even a lot of men that understand this but it makes no sense to me mate why the fuck is there so much variance between brands mate I, I don't I've never fucking understood that I've never understood it all like and it's all aspects of clothing too like you take an XL jock in one brand it's quite comfortable and roomy and then an XL jock in the tradies has barely the the smallest pouch for your bits to go into mate like it's the smallest thing you've ever seen mate trying to get a pair of XL tradie jocks on mate there's, there's no way in the world they fit there's no way it'll look like a bloody 10 kilos of potatoes in a 5 kilo bag it's horrible now my thing is these shirts that I bought now I bought this shirt right now I bought a I bought a fucking a uh, double XL shirt from Lowe's and it's a quick dry material you know the ones can pop your collars up mate they're like a polyester nylon or what I don't even really know the brand but they're a fantastic shirt mate I love them I've got two of them and uh, they're about a 28 29 shirt mate so they're a little bit exy like I, I find that as an exy price for shirts but i'll tell you what they are comfort supreme they're absolutely a beautiful beautiful shirt to wear they really are they, they're just so nice to wear and i get an xl a, a double xl shirt from I think this one that I've got on now that I'm annoyed with I think this one come from like Big W mate or, or I don't think it was a Kmart shirt I'm pretty sure it was a Big W but like look at look at the look at the amount of room that I've got on the on the thing mate like I've got no room in this shirt whatsoever for my chest I've got no room in this in the shirt whatsoever for the guns mate and I don't I'm not this isn't a flex to say, oh, look at the massive bloody guns I've got, mate. Oh, can't get shirts to fit me guns. Because it's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying the low shirt fits fucking beautiful, mate. Like, it fits superbly. The fucking... This shirt here, mate. Look, you'll fucking take this belt off, mate, and I'll show you. Look. Look, you look at... Look at this. Look. Well, look at the... Look at the... Look how tight this is, mate. Look, it's just... It's nothing, mate. It feels like a little kid shirt. This shirt reminds me of when you go through a bit of a weight gain and you have a favourite shirt that you used to wear. You have that favourite shirt or that, those old favourite jocks you never want to get rid of because they're comfortable, mate, and the material really it, it just suits you, mate. It might be a nice colour, the material it might be soft or whatever the case may be. Look, I'll buy second-hand shirts a lot from, like, um, uh, St. Vinny's, mate, those sort of places like that because i enjoy a second hand shirt mate i enjoy a pre-worn clothing mate it takes all the the shit out it, it, it just adds a comfortability that you can't find in brand new shirts this fucking shirt here mate reminds me of that shirt it reminds me of like i feel like i've gone through a weight gain right i feel like i've come up to thick boy status of 2xl and i'm like oh no no i can still fit into me large shirt Oh, I'll prove it to you. See, oh, heaps of room in in this large shirt. Oh, so much room. That's what it feels like, mate. And it's not even the case. This is a fucking brand new shirt that I bought from Kmart to XL. The difference between the two shirts is mammoth. There's a mammoth amount of difference between the sizings in these shirts, mate. And that's what fucking annoys me when you've got to go shopping for things and you've got to go off brand. You've got to go and buy things that you don't, you've got to go to places that you don't normally shop. You've got to go and buy a brand of shirt that you don't normally shop. Or, 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 or as I was saying before with the tradie jocks, I bought one packet of those in my life. I thought, yeah, I'm an XL. No worries. I'll get the XL jock. And I was like, how, how do people wear these? Look, there must be some really small boys getting around in these XL jocks because there isn't enough room in there 
for all of the bits and pieces that are normally encapsulated in the pouch of a man's jocks. There's not enough room in these damn jocks for me, mate. And that's exactly what I feel like in this shirt. This shirt's a 2XL, man, and it's dead set one of the worst shirts I've ever bought in my life, mate. I would be happy to buy this and throw it straight in the bin because it serves no purpose, mate. But why can't they just have a standardized sizing between uh, between clothing brands, mate? Why can't they have that? Why must it be so varied and so different that you as a consumer has got to continually waste your money buying these off-brand products till you find what you like? Take a jock, for instance. Take a Lowe's jock. Uh, uh, not a Lowe's jock, a Bonds jock, right? Bonds jocks, mate, XL all day long. Fit them, love them. That's my go-to brand. Can't find the Bonds. Oh, I'll get these tradies. Oh, mate, worst decision I've ever made, mate. There goes $16 into the bin because look, what do I do with them, mate? Do I then off-sell them? Do I then just give them to someone? Who's taking somebody else's old jocks to wear? Not me, that's the case. It's just stupid, mate. It's, it just wastes money. It just is annoying, mate. You don't go and buy tyres for your car and every tyre size that you give them, you give them an R17, which means the radius, means a 17 inch. You don't go and quote off an R17 tyre and you get all different variances in inches of tyres, mate. Oh, this is a large 17. Ooh, this is a smaller 17. This won't fit your four-wheel drive. Stupid, mate. You don't go and buy a two litre of milk in a dairy farmer's and then go and buy a Paul's two litre of milk and it's a different literage of milk. There's more milk in a Paul's than there is in a dairy farmer's. That's not the case. It's, it is just profound. You go and buy a loaf of bread somewhere, mate. You go and buy a sandwich, a loaf of bread, and I guarantee you, guarantee you, that that loaf of bread will be 680 grams plus. That'll be like 680 grams as a base weight on that loaf of bread, that sandwich loaf of bread. The 70, 777 gram loaf of bread coming out of an oven, comes out at 680 grams, might be 690, might be 685. It's, if it's anything under that, mate, well then they get investigated by um, these places that get around and they test out the weights of things mate and you can get serious fines if you're under what you're selling your product at but here you are having these clothing and these manufacturers and these in these brands of clothing they get away with the higgledy piggledy mate they get away with the hosh posh they get away with being so inconsistent and there's nobody to pull them up on them mate And it's the same too with shoes, mate. Shoes. I'm a nine and a half, right? I'll go and buy a nine and a half in some brands, and I'm like, my feet don't even fit into this shoe, man. Well, give me a ten and a half. Give me an eleven. I can't fit these shoes. My toes, instead of being my toes that are lovely, my toes that are fucking squashed, mate. It's absolutely ludicrous. It needs to be fixed. It needs to be amended. It, it needs to be fucking uniformed, mate. Anyway, that's my gripe. I'm going to go chuck this shirt away. Fucking thing's annoying the shit out of me. On the bear, buddy, whatever you're doing, uh, enjoy it. Be kind to each other, and I'll fucking talk to you. Cool daddios later. Ciao for now.